Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you a skill circular saw. This is a 15 amp variant. It's a seven and a quarter inch blade. And we're just going to just open it up right now. It's already open, but take it out. Here's the specifics. It contains the blade, 24 tooth carbide blade, um, a flat wrench, and a carrying bag. And then right there it says all, all of the specifications. Total weight, it's 8.7 pounds. Um, it's pretty heavy. I already weighed it. So let's take it out. Here's the blade that it comes with. Nothing crazy. But I'm glad it comes with the blade. It comes with the manual. Put that back in there. Um, the bag, the bag is pretty nice. It's just so that you know it doesn't get dusted and stuff. It has like a little bit of foam in between. Um, so that's good. So yeah, you can put it away in there. And then here is um, the saw itself. You know, as you make the cuts. This part is going to go back. Um, it has a laser, which I think is pretty cool. And I like that the laser, you know, you press here, the laser turns on. I like that you don't have to put AA batteries or AAA batteries or whatever. Um, it already gets a power from there, which I think that's what um, other saws should do. Um, it's a nice looking saw. It, it is very heavy pretty big i was looking at other comparable you know circular saws and they were around the same weight um the only one that i saw that weighed less was a ryobi from home depot it was like 50 dollars this one cost 50 dollars too but that one was 12 amps this one's 15 so it's gonna technically it should be more powerful because drawing more power um but yeah it, like they're comparable so right here is where you can change like the let me see like you want to do it at an angle like you want to do the cut at an angle um and then it can go up to 52 degrees but we're gonna put it back let me see if i could have to use my foot <laughs> okay we're gonna put it back um so like if you want to make a an angle cut and then also the the depth of the cutting blade you can adjust by pulling this lever up and then once you've pulled it up you can see there's like a um a rail kind of thing so that you know if you want the blade only to be at a certain level then you can you know adjust it and then you'll put this back down so that it doesn't move right but we're gonna put it back at the regular level and then close that and then here's a wrench what they call a wrench <laughs> um pretty basic so when you put this back you want to be sure it's facing that way because if you put it this way you know while you're cutting it's gonna is going to protrude and mess up your cut so just put it in that way and then that's so that you can open up this bolt um and then like the way the bolt and the washer is going to be it's in the manual and i'll show you guys because sometimes you guys you know you can lose this stuff um so it's good someone to show it so there it is you'll take it out that's how it's going to be and yeah, I'm going to connect it right now just so that you can hear it and see the laser. So let me connect it. All right, guys. So I connected it and already it indicates that there's power. So this thing tells you that there's power so that you don't accidentally turn it on. To turn it on, I guess this is like the, the safety switch. And I'm going to turn it on. Let me... Um, 
Let me see. Yeah, it's, it's very loud. Let me see if you can get some space. This is not brushless, so you can see the, the graphite brush there. Um, here's a laser. Uh, you can see zero right there. And there's light. I have my flashlight on, so it's pretty bright. It's very bright. Um, so let's see if it stays on. Well, yeah. Yeah, it stays on. So, yeah, it sounds very, it's very loud. It's very powerful. Um, could it be quieter? I don't know. Who cares? But just really quickly, if you want to take a look at the, at this circular saw, go ahead and, and check the description below. I'm going to have a link for Amazon where I purchased this one. Um, it cost me $50 and, you know, it's, it's a tool, like I don't need it right now, but it's good to have inflation you know everything's going up so um, might as well just have it if you get it on sale then good for you um but go ahead and, and click on the link below check it out um you can just look at it you can buy it uh but yeah that i decided to go with this one over the harbor freight one because the harbor freight one needed batteries and then also it's this one it looks nicer um i think skill is a good brand um better than black and decker I think Black & Decker like really went down the trash. Um, like they're not as good as they used to be. Like if you, if you get something from them, it could be hit or miss. Um, I think skill's pretty good, especially with sauce. Um, and yeah, you know, if you don't want to spend 200 bucks on a Dewalt or like 300 with the Milwaukee, I think it's pretty good. It's going to last you a good time. You know, it's not brushless, but you can always buy the brushes. They're like $2, $1. So that doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, check it out. This all looks pretty beefy. And that's all.